Hello everybody, you're here with Claro Beauty uh, with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in and today is another episode of Fragrance and uh, very excited to try this fragrance for the very first time. So this is First Impressions and this is from the house Initial Perfume Thrives. I order a whole discovery set. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful set. Uh, this is a box and it comes like this. This is not necessarily a discovery set because the, the bottles uh, come in full size. So it was not very inexpensive. It was actually more in the expensive, but you get all these products and a little bit of a lot of variety, like I like it. So this has six bottles. Uh, so this is a fragrance that I haven't tried at all. So I'm very curious and I want to do it here with you. Now, if you've been with me in this kind of series of one at a time, um, you know, I, it, there's kind of a structure to it. So the first thing is I go to Fragrantica, which is a, a website that kind of all the perfumes go in there. And so it's a very generalized sort of uh, information. And real quick, it just says Musk Therapy by Initial Perfumes Pride is a woody floral musk fragrance for women and men. This is a new fragrance. Musk Therapy was launched in 2021. So this tells me several things, right? So it's brand new. 2021 is when it was launched. I'm surprised. They usually tell you who was the, um, the nose behind the scent. Uh, this one doesn't say, but that's fine. Um... So let's try it out. Let's try it out. Now, Initial Perfumes is a discovery of mine recently since I started YouTube. And the fragrances that I have tried from uh, this house have been an explosion. It's, it's just an explosion. It's intense and it's passionate. And so we'll see. We'll see if all the <laughs> lotions are that way. But uh, uh, I'm going to spray it right here. Ta -ta -da brand new brand new sprayer mm, oh my god this is nice so this is so far i think i have tried like six different fragrances from the house and this is so far the most subtle of them all and that doesn't mean that it's subtle by the majority <laughs> in general in fragrance because like i said this house at least since I know it, it is about intensity, explosion, and really in your face sort of fragrances. So this one seems to me the more subtle of them all, which I appreciate and I really like. Now immediately, there is this sweetness, but this, uh, what is it? Almond, almond creaminess that comes to mind. But this very subtle sweetness uh, that comes. Now, nowadays, most fragrances say they're for male and female. I'm actually very surprised and relieved when they just say it's for woman or for male. I know even if it says it's just for woman, a male can wear it and does wear it. But I like it when it's a more defined sort of purpose for the... I know that doesn't apply because then... You know, you're defining it and then people say, oh, no, it says it's for a woman. I would not try it if it's a male. But you know what I mean. In any case, this one is says men and women. Now, the bottle is white, which is lovely. They all the bottles look the same. They just have different colors and they have this beautiful design, which I think is just amazing. All right. So, so far. I really have been enjoying the fragrance. And I sometimes I speak a little bit, well, I, you know me, I speak <laughs> always <laughs> uh, on the video. You'll be surprised in real life. I'm actually a much more quieter person. Um, but in video, um, usually I wait a little bit because there's the first uh, experience of the fragrance and then as it starts drying out as it starts transforming I start getting more of the mid notes or the end notes the base notes whatever so it, and it has been changing as we speak that's the thing about fragrances right there's always the first experience the first meetup the first introduction and then it's like a relationship I said this in the past and you start getting to know the fragrance and then of course there is the how you feel throughout the day with it, and then how you feel throughout the week with it, etc. So it's it's a whole intrinsic intricacy of 
experiencing a fragrance. It's a relationship, really. So, main course according to the Fragrantica, and then we'll go to the actual website and talk a little bit. I won't read much, so don't don't think. So, main course very surprising already. It says citrus. Like what? All right, so maybe it is a clean smell. It has a clean smell for sure. So it says citrus, musky, floral, fruity, powdery, woody, green, aromatic, fresh, spicy, and animalistic. So a lot of ingredients. Uh, some other fragrances might be a lot less. So you obviously immediately know there's a complexity of these fragrances. And this has been the case for most of them. No wonder there's an explosion. There's a complexity. There's a passion. There's... It, it, there's a depth to them and they're in your face. So there's a front and a depth to them. But what I have described about most of the fragrances from this house is that you kind of get submerged in this cloudness of the fragrance. And it is the experience of this one as well, even though I describe it as the more subtle of most of them, right? Or the ones I have tried. So, it definitely the citrus surprised me, although it does seem optimistic and uplifting, which usually tells me about the citrusy, but I, I can't really, it's not like I smell a mandarin, an orange or something like that in other citrus fragrances. Uh, the next one it says is musky. I think that's what I was describing in the almond sweetness, creaminess. I don't know, I'm learning and I don't know if that's what musky is, but that's what it reminded me. And so um, the next one will be floral, the white floral. It does have a little bit of opening, but you know I've been trying a lot of white floral, floral or floral uh, in general fragrances. So this, I wouldn't put it like, oh yeah, white floral, you can smell the jasmine or the rose or da 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 da. No, I think is, I would say more in the musky. The citrus surprised me. So let's go to the actual website of Inishu. And of course, um, if you like the description or you're curious about this, of course, I encourage you to go to the actual website, but it is very interesting specifically on this one because I have mentioned this in the past that they get very poetic about the description of the fragrances. And I have said, I don't want to repeat myself, why I think it's part of the full experience, right? It's just like food, everything that has to do with the senses, it becomes poetic and it becomes artistic and it becomes a whole experience and a whole relationship. So there's this whole thing about romance seduction within the experience. And so I just want to read a little tiny bit. It says, close your eyes, smell and feel a new way of sensations. Experience the power of scent therapy. Natural white sandalwood blended with an overdose of white and pink musk creates an ultra addictive milky and velvety accord. There it is, the milky velvety accord. That's the one that is kind of almondy to me. Milky and velvety accord, totally agree. It says the white magnolia activates the pleasure receptor while the cassis stimulates the energy releasing a supplement of erotism. Here we go, we're going for the seduction. This is totally part of the Inishu house. I'm sorry, but it is always there. It's a totally seductive. <laughs> releasing a supplement of erotism. I mean, they're going there. They're not hiding, they're going there. And that is, that is part of the description of how this sense, how you experience this sense. I'm almost done. Musk therapy, a magical mood enhancer, paves the way to relaxation and a state of well-being. Finally, a delightful alternative to artificial paradises and their illicit substances. I don't know where they went with that one there. Yeah, it's like a poor, like drop the mic sort of. Kind of like, you didn't have to mention that part for me. <laughs> It's almost like you you were getting me you were getting me and then it's like oh I don't know where you went with that one through all right so obviously I guess that's why it's one of their subtle more subtle fragrances because apparently to them this is like a relaxation and peaceful and coming to your senses and whatever whatever I would never maybe within their house this is the most relaxing sort of one but to me, I wouldn't describe it in the overall of fragrances as that. However, it is very nice because it's the most subtle. <laughs> so the main notes, according to now the actual website, it says bergamot, 
mandarin, there's the citrus, white magnolia, I had reference to that, black currant, white sandalwood, all naturals, white musk, pink musk. All right, so one of the things that this house talks about is um, that they are very close to the natural ingredients, that they really, they take pride on that, that they wanna get as close as the natural ingredients. Because nowadays with technology, there's different ways to get, uh, or they get less expensive ingredients and then they blend them to kind of smell like an actually expensive ingredients. That is sort of what's happening sometimes. So they take pride of the going to the core or the, as closest to the extract or the actual. And I think that's why these house perfumes, they're so intense and explosive because of that, because you're actually getting the thing or close to the thing. I'm not so knowledgeable to really know exactly what goes in to intervene or to, to water down or to, you know, make it less expensive, etc. But I give them credit because niche uh, fragrances be gone precisely for that love of the actual fragrances and how close you can get to it. But then of course comes the, the marketing and generalizing and getting the price right and all these things, which of course changes, but that's another economic part of the fragrance world, which I'm not even knowledgeable about. However, let's get back to it. So the conversation that I go while I apply the fragrance and I'm smelling it gives me a lot of insight of where the fragrance takes you or who it's up for. If you notice, I merely start going to the business side, the explanation side, the that you diminish the core of the real thing. So you saw I became very business-like, very strategic, very lining up. So obviously this brings me to that mood. It didn't make me travel through time or through the world. It didn't make me feel in vacation. It didn't, it, it didn't make me feel in therapy peaceful, no. Or coming into my center, no. And I have mentioned some fragrances that do that, that center, you ground you, you feel yourself, you feel in presence, all of these things. This, no. So this one, yes, I can see it going into a spa, but going stressful into a spa. <laughs> Does that make sense? All right. So yeah, very business-like, but would I wear it to work? Um, no. All right, so there you have it. Um, yeah, you can wear it for every day. I think it's a little intense for that. Um, so maybe for during the day, uh, if you're not going to be in clothes or all many, many hours in one place, if you're just gonna be kind of in the go, it's a nice fragrance for that. Um, so what's it called again? It is called Musk Therapy. Hmm. I'm usually more in the white flower. I enjoy them more or in a very citrus for optimism and activity. So this musky is not on my cup of tea sort of fragrances. So that's kind of not fair in my, in my. Uh, so it is sweet. It has that, what they describe milky sweetness. It does remind me like a yogurt with almond and honey <laughs> sort of thing, but it doesn't smell like that. It just makes, gives me that kind of. So yeah, I can see it in a spa in a afternoon uh, on the go, my brain started immediately to, to go into this uh, logical thinking and this very uh, systematic and business world. So it has that kind of seriousness um, and action. I guess that comes from the citrusy. So would I wear it? Yeah. I could wear it. I don't think I will pay that much money. It would not be one of my favorites, but I definitely will wear it now that I have it here and there. Um, it is distinctive. You cannot ignore it. Um, so it is an issue, sort of uh, invasiveness, cloudness that gets created. So I like it. I like it. Maybe if, even if I had guests over, I will wear it because it's home, clean, uh, nice. 
So those are my thoughts. Uh, if you want to see more of the fragrance episodes, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Or if you want to see more makeup, or now I included some pondering, philosophizing episodes here and there. So if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel and comment below if you know this house, if you own any of the fragrances and any suggestions and comments, ring the bell in the right hand corner and thumbs up. And thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.